Uh, we had a small uh, leak inside the, the boat and uh, we find out there was a small uh, missing of silicone uh, of the joint of the window. Now I'm going to, to do again the silicone for the window but the full length in one way and that's it. Javern is uh, ready in two days. It will be in the water in two days. Now they have to lift it a little bit to paint under the keel and uh, under the place where they put a piece of wood to hold the boat. And uh, they have to sand it and uh, to put primer and then to put anti-fouling. And that will take the, the two, two last day to do this small job. And uh, we do all the other one and uh, that's it. You are happy? I'm very happy. Why? Because we are finally leaving the hard. And we go back to the water now. Uh, today, we go back today to the water. And I removed the plug 220 because that when you are on the rush, when you forget to remove this cable. Then now is out. And I'm happy. Now we are going to clean or not to clean, but to put everything back together in this boat. Open everything to be ready to to travel. Well, we have a big traveling, a big travel to do today. We have at least uh, 100 meter to go to the to the pontoon. And we say pontoon, je sais pas. Yes, we are moving to the back to the sea. Yes. Yes, why not? That's it. <laughs> Don't fit. How much money we spend uh, to hull out the boat in South Africa in Richards Bay and I'm going to give you some uh, some prizes that uh, what we did on the boat um, during all this time a lot of people are looking for these uh, these prizes and I'm going to give the details okay what we did we hull out the boat. The boat was out for nearly one month. Then we put the boat back in the water. And during the time the boat was out, uh, the full anti-fouling, that means rending of the hull, uh, one coat of uh, primer, and then two coats of anti-fouling, plus uh, the, the final in the drum, we did the floating line. Then we repair the damage in front of the boat, boat site. We did it again, everything with uh, epoxy, with plywood and all that stuff. And then um, we have to restitch the mainsail. You see how it was looking. And then we give also the two front sail 
to restitch again all the UV. We also add a nice black strip to have a nice look on the on the Javern. And now I'm going to give you the real price. Hull out of the boat, 254 euro. Around the month on hard, 230 euro. Launch the boat, 254. Admin fees, 12 euro. anti fouling Jotun Kantum Ultra S 20 liter, 512 euro. The walkers plus a machine plus a grinding paper. The guy was working nearly a month and nearly four people sometime. The total is 903 euros. A repair of the mainsail 660 euro. A repair of the two front sail 560 euro. The small black strip, uh, including the the fixing, 122 euro, and all the material necessary necessarily to repair the front uh, the front of the boat. I'm not counting my hours. A total of 300 euro. The final amount of all we did is. 3,800 euros. Good morning. As you can see, we are back in the water and uh, we are so happy. And uh, there is few uh, problem uh, again. <laughs> so Michel is going to repair this on this. Here. You want the true that we said on the video or you want the, the true real? The real true. The real is shit. <laughs> the pump is not working. I did something wrong. No, I don't. I didn't wrong. But uh, I think the, the carbon of the, of the rotor, I didn't grind it perfectly flat. And that's why the pump doesn't turn well. It means I have to dismantle again everything and start again from zero. Mm, you are happy, yeah? Very happy. <laughs> Bonne année les amis Passez une merveilleuse année 2024 1st January, what we are doing on Javern? Cleaning, cleaning and cleaning. Anyway, it's a bad weather, it's raining, so nothing else to do. And uh, our boat, she needs a lot of uh, cleaning. I didn't done this job since a long time, so it's time to do it. I'm still cleaning um, the boat because uh, all the white place are very uh, yellow now. <laughs> so here uh, there is a, a nice uh, uh, product to clean. Everything uh, who was yellow become a little bit more white and it's fabulous. It's amazing, it works. You enjoy your job. Yes. <laughs> Javern will be beautiful. Nearly no, uh, new. Nearly new, yeah. yeah. We had a small water problem on the boat and uh, there was air coming into the pump and I 
I, I searched quite a lot and then I replaced the pump. I said, it's a problem with the pump. I had a spare anyway on board. And uh, the problem is the same. Then I had to search a little further and the uh, electrical toilet was sucking air uh, because there is a non-return valve on uh, getting the water from the tank straight to the toilet. And this non-return valve uh, was not working uh, properly. That means air went through and uh, that's why uh, we had this problem. Uh, as you can see, I buy quite a lot of small material this morning and it's very cheap here. And I have to stock up so much as possible. That's the way it was before. And uh, this is the final version with a small hydraulic piston to keep the hatch open and easy to open and close. That's the end. We are uh, now finishing all the small, small details that we had on the, on the to-do list with small spots to paint or to repair or to put a little uh, uh, epoxy on it, all that stuff. And we, have, we, we take the time now to finish all these small details. I'm sure Javern will be happy for that and they will give it back for the next, uh, for the next sailing that we'll have to do. Another small job on the boat, the shower place. Uh, Corinne, she did uh, just uh, to paint the floor again with a beautiful grey color and that was small details that we have to do uh, to keep to keep uh, Javern in good health and good, con good condition. everybody we are leaving Richards Bay we go far far away and you will find out this on the next video on the next episode and to know what's going on don't forget to subscribe to our channel leave a thumbs up and then you will know what's going on enjoy have a nice day